why you should train. Now, I know a lot of y'all getting in the game. You just get in your truck. You got your truck and, you know, you like your alone time. Got a little sweet meat come through every once in a while. A little spot in the Laura, you know, a little rub and tug. A little drip and dip. I get it, you know. I personally am not doing that because I'm celibate. We'll move on amicably. But listen, if you started your company, You've been driving for, for four and three quarter months. That's two ways you can look at this. One, on one hand, I don't think you should train until two years, personally. But if we're doing this for money, you should train as soon as they let you. Now, you're going to suck at it, but you should do it for money. But I still don't think you should do it until two years, personally. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why you should be training. When you're you're probably nine times out of ten, or eight out of ten times, you're at a mega carrier. And you probably think that mega carriers make their money, they primarily make money off of loads, which, depending on who you talk to, isn't always true. All right? Oh, where my cool shades at? Depending on who you talk to, it isn't always true. Their main thing that they're pushing is growth. Whoever's helping them grow is who takes priority. All right? So if you get your truck and you're running, you've been running six months, your DM's going to hit you up. Hey, Billy, listen. Uh, you've been running good enough, you ain't had no, uh, critical events or nothing like that, no tickets, yada, yada, yada. How about you come in here and sit down with me for a minute, you talk to the boss, man, we get you a student, forget about it. What do you say? Ah, Frankie, I'm not feeling that right now, you know, I'm trying to explore my options, you know, you're gonna tell them some crap like that, I don't not good with people, I don't like people in my truck, I don't want no one in my truck, you may do the coward speech where you're like oh the student can kill me while i'm sleeping sir which is to me is pretty stupid because when you go from your truck and walk into ta a student can run over you so it doesn't matter like it doesn't it doesn't matter that ain't even your student you know what i'm saying so it, that's stupid but you're gonna tell him something like that he's gonna say listen all right i'm gonna give you all for you can't refuse take a student you'll be raping him for the miles all the miles will go to you you'll get a flat rate for the company forget about it no paulie i don't want to do that i like to have my freedom there's a couple reasons why you want your freedom you got sweet meat all up down the road that's what you're doing out here you're meeting up with you probably young little thundercat you know what i mean you like you know what I mean? You you got a couple of honeys all over the place, and you want to frolic in philander, and then you want to, you know, do that. Whoremonger, if you will. Well, not only do I advise against that, but I advise against saying no. Now, I don't know if he actually makes a note of you saying no. And in my conspiracy theory thought process, and all my conspiracy theory cats let me know if you believe the same thing. I believe he puts that on your account. That you, he went in for the offer, you know, for us to go into business together. You need a partner. And you said no. So he gonna put that on you. All right. All right. A month later, you start looking at, looking at the pot like, yo, I'm, yeah. and why I can't get no, every time I get to 3,500, it's like the bottom drop out, and then you start giving me junk. What you doing? He gonna hit you with this. Hey, forget about it. Listen, you, you know, you, you, you know, you, your success took a shot at you. You know what I mean? That's what he gonna tell you some crap like that. The, the market's down, right? The market's down. We don't have loads there. You're gonna start hearing that. Oh, this is how the loads been. Right? And you're going to keep getting to like 4,200 and dropping out. 39, 37 dropping out. 
Now, I suggest you train because once you train, and this is my belief, I don't know, y'all tell me if you if you felt the same way. I feel like they put you on a trainer or team board. That's, he took the offer, Frankie, board. And those loads look completely different. Not only do they look different because you have two clocks and are you able to do more you know, magical stuff to get stuff done, and they, they cost a little more. But they're, it's just a different world. When you decide to train, when you put the St. Baladanda thing in your hand, and you burn it, and you say whatever, and you come on the level, you go to the spot, they're going to put you into a, 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 a little situation where you, you got to go into class, like I like to call the regime indoctrination, they're going to put you in indoctrination and they're going to, uh, you know, get you in. You get a little, if you had CR England, you get a little instructor hat with the button up, and you'll be that guy walking around saying, I'm a professional instructor. Ugh, they're the worst, but whatever. You get that, you wear it with pride. All of a sudden, the company's birth canal will open up to thee. And you'll see lows that you didn't know the mega carrier had. I was at I seen loads for ninety eight hundred dollars that I could with the trainer trainee I could get this off in a day and a half. And I know this sounds far fetched for a mega carrier, but I swear to God, I swear to God, I could drop this day and a half two max. I got the rest of the week to run. After that, that is Sam Honey. Bang, bang, bang. It's like I'm at a completely different company because you are helping the company grow. You are officially priority. Now, the guy that just wants to ride the company and get a check, he's like, he's a prospect, right? He's a prospect. So all of the fricassee, all, all, all of the snickle frit loads, that's going, that's going to him. He's not in good graces with Pauly at all. He's not. Because you, I mean, but I'm running loads for that. Cut loads ain't the interest. Growth is the interest. So if you're trying, I'm trying to come in here and make money. If you're trying to come in here and make money, you're telling me you're trying to come in here and train. So that's where all the money being made. Why, TB? I'll tell you why. When you get that trainer on your truck, that's sweet meat. Sugar butt. That's all it is. Because he don't get none of the miles he about to run. You're raping him for the miles. Every mile he drives, you get paid for. So let's say you was making $1,500 a week. He jump on the truck, you make it three. Because the $1,500 worth of profit he made, he don't get. He get a flat rate from the company. Now... They have a guarantee, so uh, I can only tell you what I did at Prime. Basically, you know, uh, if you hit the number, then he gets the seven hundred out of your the, he gets seven hundred out of your gross, and then the rest you keep. So if you add the seven hundred on top of your your cost that you somehow you know lotioned and figured out, um, I just made lotion. That's, that's a verb now. Oh, somehow you lotioned and figure out that you know. You only you need at least a dollar twenty cent a mile or a dollar ninety eight a mile. So you thinking as long as I hit after five grand, it's all me or some scrap like that, which is not a problem with a student. This is not an issue. So you're you're whipping his back. Get out. Do six hundred a day. What do you You hitting him with the back with with the whip. Now if you smart, you'll run him during the day, and you'll run the nights. Right. That's if you know if you hustling. Because you can get more miles out of your student during the day. Now, I mean, if you got a good student, that's not true because they can run through the night and there's less problems during the day. There's less things that happen so they can get a longer distance. But if you're dealing with a, 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 a student that got weak thigh meat, then they going to be pulling over and acting sleepy. And they going to be averaging about 430 miles a night. When you could have got 620, 630 out of them during the day. And then you could have pulled six at night. Right? So now the truck is doing twelve to 1,300 miles a day. 
Right. And see, that's where the Gouda Glange is. That's where the money is. See? That's, that's, see, that's where the good cash is. That's where the, the DM knows you can handle it. That's where the, hey, I got this JIT load is paying eight grand for 2,000 miles, but it's kind of already late. Can you He-Man this for me? That's when you start getting them. Ah, ah. And that's when the sweet meat get tight. See, when the sweet meat get tight, that's when the money get right. Now, I'm sorry, I hate to rhyme, but that's what it is, okay? That's when the money get right, because you can knock that out and fit a couple more inside. It ain't loosey-goosey. Listen, it's just like loving, baby. Loosey-goosey ain't paying the bills. It's not, because you wasting time. If they, he gets you tight, you making money. So the, the suckiest running is where all the money is. The hardly being able to get a shower sometimes, or only being able to get bird baths, the hardly being able to, to, to see the sunlight, all that. That's where all the money's made. You knock this dude out, he's getting his miles, he gets off the truck faster, you make a bigger check, everybody's happy. If they know you can run this student real good, by the time you about to be done, he got a student waiting on you four days for this dude's supposed to drop. So you gonna come, now you got two options. You can come in and tell him, like, I'm going, to, I'm going home for a week. Because I don't had this dude on my truck for all this time. Because I don't believe in going home while a student's on the truck. That's a no-no. That's for somebody who really don't want to be a trainer no more. I believe. This is my view. Kill me. What are you going to do? Fight about it? I'm not going to get into it. But that's what I believe. And when I got a student on the truck, I'm running till he's done. Period. That's the end of the day. I'm getting him. I'm getting all the sweet meat I can get out of him. Um, my checks are going to stack up. All right, man. Great. You head. Forget about it. You gone. I go home for six days. Ball out. Mm, mm, mm. Getting money. Do what I got to do. Swing or whatever you got going on. Boom. Back at the money. So he'll tell you, all right, well, listen. If he knows that's your process, then you're going to tell him I'm dropping this joint off. How long are you going home? I'm going home for five days. Cool. Uh, I, got a, this, I got a couple students going to be done. I'm going to call you, tell you who your student is when it come back. Four days into your home time, he's going to say, I got a student waiting up here at Woody Woody Woo. When you come back in, I'm going to get you a load from home, ride through, pick them up. That's it. That's how it works. He's going to get you a load. That load's going to drop off at the terminal. You're going to drop at the terminal. Then you do the meet and greet, decide you're going to take them. If you do, bam, you pull a load off of the terminal. You're back in the matrix. You're getting money. That's what I suggest you should be doing. If you came out here to get a bag. Now, if your words and what you are professing ain't matching up with the actions what do you want me to do I can't do nothing for you cause it ain't matching up right it's not matching bro but 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 ain't no buts bro either you want the bag or you don't it's your decision it is your decision hey that's what I believe you should do when you first get in the game fact though Took me three years to chain, train. I lost a boatload of money. I should have just trained as soon as possible. And I was at companies that let you train after 60 days. I guaranteed if I would have trained in them companies, I probably wouldn't have left. I CR England. Ah, CR England's the worst. The CR England ain't the worst if you train them. Because <laughs> they got a rooms at CR England that you can't go in until 15 years of being there. And there's people in there. So somebody's staying there for 20 years. And I bet dollars to donuts. I don't know who came up with this. What are you gonna do? I heard it somewhere. Dollars to donuts. That that person's a trainer. He ain't sit at CR England not training. That's a fact. And he loves CR England. And he should. He's getting money. But you leave, you denied running a running a student, right? You leave CR England and say CR England's the worst. But all these people over here making money. You left Prime, you left Swift, you left all these places train. Wanna? You left all these places. And people there eating, getting money. There's 10 year, 11 year, 15, 20 year vets at these places. Who done bought houses, paid them off cars, paid them off kids, college, all that. Half the time when you at a company and you ain't making no money, it's because you're not, um, you're not submitting to the way of things. There's a path, right? You're either going to get on the path 
or you're not. And there's another 150 of you showing up next Monday. So they don't have time. Now they can just leave you in the truck and let you pay the lease payment on it. Because you're paying the lease payment whether you're leasing or not. I don't know why people think they're not. You know, what are you going to do? You, you, you can run it and I can keep the truck being paid for. And you can just suck and hate life for six months. Or you can go into business with the boss. Right? I'm going to take a percentage off the top. But you're going to see more money than you're seeing. You're going to like the company way better. I promise you. I guarantee it. That's a guarantee. That's like Pepsi. And if you ain't doing that, you're not in this little thing of ours. You're not in the in crowd. You're on the outside. And let me tell you, it's cold outside. Freezing. You don't take my word for it. Ask anyone that I respect their word. You know, as Jay Hernandez. I don't know how to say his name. Honduras. Ask him. He's training, getting boatloads of money. Ask uh, uh, Alo. One of the training masters of the game. Ask him. Ask him where the longest bread from a single truck come from. He'll tell you. Training. And there's a whole bunch of people in the comments saying, I don't care, man. It ain't worth my life, man. It ain't worth my life. You know what I'm saying? I got kids, man. I got kids. All of my people, listen, I heard somewhere, I forget I forget where it was, I think it was um, uh, Man on Fire, Denzel Washington, one of my favorite actors. He said, excuses are bridges to the people who use them. Do with that what you will, honestly. But I don't know what you're going to do if I'm going to say this. Someone's getting the check. Right? Someone's getting paid. Alright, now either you won't be... I had a I had a very rough analysis of, of of the trucking industry, which is very crass, and I don't I don't really believe it as much. But it does it does it, it does it does put it into perspective. Either the rapey or the raper, choose. Rough way of putting it, but it is kind of accurate. Now you can sit there, catch the rod, or you can pick up a student and take his money. What are you gonna do? It's up to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a dead end. You got to kill to fit in like it is what it is. Gunplay, heavy freestyle. <clears throat> it's like a macanudo. Of Dean be smoking. It's a, it's a macanudo. I'm probably saying this wrong. Dean, correct me. Honestly, I don't think this is right. It's like a macanudo. See me? I'm rolling it. That's to get all of the, you know, the aerate, the tobacco and all that. It's like a, a stogie, right? A Cuban. Follow me at Trucker Brown on Instagram. Don't do drugs. Be good, inspirational, work hard, positive, productive, right? Sub to this channel. Cause I don't I think this is all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna drop the giblets and get off here. Drop the giblets and get off here. Okay? Sub and hit the bell. Right? You hit the bell. Bell gives you a notification when I drop these. I'm probably gonna drop them as premieres. It gives you notification when to drop. When I drop, you can pop right on in. If you do not, YouTube will choose when they tell you I drop. And then you'll be like, where did this come from? How did I miss it? How did I miss this? You wanted them dudes in the comment. Hit the bell. You don't hit the bell, you're not on the inside. <laughs> Forget about it. I love that. Forget about it, Joe. Now, now he's Italian. Oh my God. I ain't gonna you one strip. Thank you. Now you talking, talking Italian. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. I love it. Oh my God. Let me get out of here. Gotta go in and make some more money. Listen, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me hit the little focus joint. Bang. Don't do drugs. Be happy. I'm out, man. For real. Yes. I'm looking awesome right now. Shades. Under Armour. Y'all need to call me. Sub. Hit the bell. Right now. Go sub and hit the bell. I will tell you which one this is. But I'm not.